Hello, everybody. The votes are in. And it uh, sounds like we're hitting the new map. Which I was kind of hoping that would be the case. Because uh, I've been kind of playing around with that map off camera. Just, you know, fooling around with it. Seeing what I can do with it. And I, I really like that map. I really do. Um... Uh, also, uh, they just announced a few days ago, Farming Simulator 25 is coming out in uh, November, I think they said. Um, and uh, also, uh, the Stitzer, Wisconsin map is going to be released, which, oh, that, that that's a map I've been waiting for for like two, three years now. Um, MRG does really good mod maps, but because he does such a good do job and he's so mat meticulous it takes forever for his maps to come out but uh, sometime in August hopefully we can start playing around with that map um, you can check out that trailer if you want but man that would be an awesome map I think to, to, to play on because that's actually in Wisconsin it's kind of like Westby it's actually in the state I live in uh, unfortunately that that map I did pick is not a Wisconsin map but I'm we're gonna pretend it is because boy it sure looks like uh, Wisconsin um, especially in the area I'm looking at I don't know it, here's a Google map of Wisconsin and well you know where Eau Claire is in the Twin Cities this this part of the state has been pretty much developed but if you get up into here in the Shawamigan National Forest area um, it is it's just like logging trails and dirt roads and densely packed forest with you know it's it's very very isolated more or less out here especially when you get up way up in here like up in the um uh you know a uh, park falls area phillips uh jump river area so i I've, I've been, i as a matter of fact i've almost gotten lost up in that forest uh atving and stuff with friends many many years ago going down logging trails and stuff it's this is it's, it's a lot of fun up in here like i say it's i'm just gonna zoom in anywhere in here but yeah you, you can see there's there's like nothing out here but and these numbers here are just all logging logging little logging trails yeah i'll just to give you an example here's a little doggy trail it's rough and lots of woods so if you want to compare that to about about what we're gonna do here I just yeah here's the one I've been playing on but yeah we're gonna start from scratch and uh, also um, I've been I've been looking at a lot of other maps I played with this map a little bit and I thought nah don't want to live by the ocean really this is a one where you're like on an island interesting though there's just so many maps to play with nowadays that it's so hard to pick one I think there's a few of them on here that that uh, yeah this was one that was suggested that one was very 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 tempting deer lands oh and this one this this one came in second I, I, I found this one at the very last minute and I was almost tempted to uh, this one uh, is up in Alaska like up and out in the middle of nowhere Ugh. <laughs> I might have to do that one on another video there's just there's just so many good maps right now here's another one up in Canada yeah and now this is the one I did we I decided on uh, this one's also similar uh, this one was second or third also this was another one that was really tempting where you're like out in the middle of nowhere and a lot of good maps out there and they're the one I usually play on I did down uh, this is uh, uh, this one is not finished I found I thought I thought Stitzer Wisconsin was done but it this one's got too many bugs and issues uh, this is like a sequel to no man's land this is not a bad map but it's too flat, a little too open for me. Uh, that one, yeah, it's, it's, it's so hard to pick one. 
Anyway, that's all the maps I've played with over the years. Oops. I'm supposed to pick one here. Oh, we gotta go back to the one I was gonna play on here. There we go. Let's see, yeah, I got all my mods ready. I always like to select and deselect just in case I missed one. Anyway, let's get this party started. I think that's the funnest part is starting over fresh, starting anew. I don't know what it is about starting fresh, but you know, you, you got all these plans in your head of how things are going to work out. and It's just exciting starting something new. Hey, it's me. <laughs> All right, let's get the clock down to half time as usual. Let's see. First things first, we gotta do our settings. No saving. Don't want any interruptions. And stop and go breaking. Okay, that should take care of that. Bank loan. I made this mistake last time. Let's get that set to what it should be. Okay, I don't mind the $200,000 loan, I just don't want to pay it off in three years. Let's make it 20 years there, and then it'll be a monthly payment of um, around $1,200. Okay, much, much better. Now, we got to get rid of, because I want to go from zero, get rid of the other 300000 We are set. We are at zero. Well, when we're starting out like this, we got to make some plans. All right, let's get we'll cheap and old. Come on, Kisputa. Get old clunk clunk here. See, we also want something to haul some logs with, as we got plenty of sticks we can harvest if need be. I like this trailer. We're gonna go with that one. I'm gonna try not to do as much logging as I did on No Man's Land, but if I'm running out of money, I just want the option there in case I need money. Okay, oh, chainsaw. Most of this stuff you've seen me use before. It's just stuff that I, I like, I tend to stick with. Oh, I'm also going to do uh, something else someone suggested. Uh, I know it's going to make the game harder for me, but we're not going to be teleporting. So I need a bicycle. A bicycle? What the heck is a bicycle? I do believe it's under miscellaneous. Come on. Where is that bicycle? It was cheap. I must be in the wrong category. I thought they'd put it with vehicles, but they didn't. There's the bicycle. That way I can come back for stuff if I need it. Configuration. Do I want a little basket on there? I don't think so. I, I don't plan on hauling anything with it. And I can always get it later. Okay, at least we got some stuff to start out with here. Um, I can't seem to pick up this bike normally. I am going to cheat a little bit here. That's because... Um, why isn't this not working? Okay, this is not a good way to start the game here. Why is my... What happened to my super strength? Oh, okay, that was a weird little glitch. <laughs> yeah, for some reason I didn't have, have super strength for a second there. 
This is the only time I use super strength is when obviously you a bicycle like this you can pick up and are you going to fit in this truck? Oh yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, let's go check out no, that's not the vehicle I want. Let me in the truck please. There we go. Strap Mr. Bike down. Oh, yes, and I'm starting in the year 1950. I wanted to go as old as I can go. I just want to see how old and run down I can go. I wish they would make more old, rusty, crummy equipment like this truck. And this, well, yeah, even this trailer's pretty. You know, you know what I mean? This rustic, homemade, about ready to fall apart. Yeah, uh, here's what I'm talking about on this map. If you have ever been up around the northern Wisconsin area, this is, yeah, this is what it looks like up around there. Very hilly, very densely packed forest, forestry. Of course, there's some fields here and there, around there, here and there, but a good majority of it is forestry. I already kind of picked out the plot of land I want. Obviously, in future episodes, I will pause this drive, but being this is the first time here, I'm just going to show you the route I take. This is kind of down back a dead end road. It just looked like a beautiful area to build in. And we'll see how much I can get done in the first day here, or first month. A day is a month. And here it is, the plot of land I would like to buy. It's not exactly perfect, like they got sugar beets planted over here, which I don't want nothing to do with, but we'll, we'll make it our own. Not to worry, we will make it our own. Okay, first business is, oops, wrong menu, is to buy it. It's a little expensive, but look at all this nice timber we have if, 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 if we run short of money. Ouchie, that took a big chunk of our money, bye-bye, gone. Alright, I don't like the house, and I don't want to be a sheep farmer, so let's say goodbye to that stuff. I want my own little cabin. Alright, bye-bye sheep farm. And bye-bye house. Well, at least I got some money back out of that. That was kind of nice. Okay, this is where I kind of have to be careful. Um, again, I like dairy farming. There is a nice, beautiful grass field here, all planted and fertilized and ready to go. I just got to wait for it to grow. So what I have to do before I build my barn is I definitely want to harvest this little patch of grass off here, just so I got something to start with. But first thing we got to do is get the cabin up. Where is my cabin? That's the one I like for ten grand. Make it lined up true with the world here. I think I like to put it somewhere about in here. I kind of pre-planned this already so I could get things a rocking and a rolling here. Okay, and the next thing we need is the poopy house. Where is the poopy house? I don't feel like pooping in the woods. <laughs> he caught the shit poop! <laughs> <laughs> That was like two or three hundred dollars, I think. Did I miss it? There's my poopy house. Alright, whoa, not that far. And let's see, where is a good spot to put the poopy house? 
maybe it's so hard to tell if you're straight with things sometimes oh that's a little crooked there we go now we got it straight let's see we don't want to be too close to the house I'm thinking well how close can we get let's that's perfect. All right, let's check out the house here. Well, you guys have seen this before. It, it's just a nice, cheap cabin. I really like it. All right. Um, I was kind of stuck in the door for a minute there. There. Now I can take a poopy when I need to take a poopy. Okay, we need to... Let's park this trailer in the woods for now. I don't plan on doing any logging right away. Cause that's, that seems like when you're starting these survival maps, that's like the first thing you do. But I don't want to do that right now. I just don't feel like logging. So we're going to leave that there. So it's ready to go when I do decide I need to log. And we need to leave the bike here at home. So I, I gotta ride back to town when I need it. Why is this not... Oh, super strength. <laughs> I keep forgetting I need super strength for this. It's too bad because this, this bike, you should be able to pick it up without super strength. But we make it work. That looks like a good place to put that. Let's shut off this noisy thing. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, I forget to turn that off again. Oh, that's a crappy way to start out. I keep, I made somewhat of a promise that I would remember to sh sh turn that menu off, but I'm going to forget because I get so involved in this. Alright, the first thing I want to do is get all the hay I can possibly get, so we need some equipment to do that. Let us buy... First thing we need is somewhat of a halfway decent tractor. I do like that little farm I'll be. It's cheap, but it's a little under it's a little underpowered to do stuff and it does not have a three point. I do need a tractor with a three point for the hay tether. So, uh, what I decided to try this time is, no, it wasn't the M, the H. I thought the H was a good candidate, and it's definitely older 1950. I think the H's came out in 39 or 40, so, and the H is not a bad tractor. I've, ac I've actually had an H on my farm. They're not a bad tractor. Let's see, let's have a little safety here. Definitely want three point linkage, and I think that's all we can get with that is three point. Yeah, I got wheel weights. I think we're all set here. It's a little expensive, but I gotta have one good tractor, and that should take care of the majority of the stuff for quite some time now. So we got tractor. Come on, computer. I haven't figured out why my menu is so slow yet. I'm thinking it's just because I got so many mods. Okay, we need something to cut the hay with. Where is mowers, 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 mowers? Mowers, please. There's mowers. And we'll get one to match. I know that one's cheaper, but it's kind of nice when things match. There we go. Something to cut the grass. Now we need a tether. Uh, yep, most of this you've seen before. That is it. I tried to get this one to work. This one will not do anything. As a matter of fact, I was even playing around. What was that under? Oops. What was that under? Is it under this miscellaneous? I was trying real hard because my grandpa did. He started out with uh, horses, 
pulling stuff. And I did download some mods, but they're kind of a little bit expensive. They kind of work, but yet they don't. I, I was playing around with it. And then I just decided, eh, let's keep things somewhat simple. So I, I skipped the having horses and pulling stuff. What was I doing? Oh, tether. Did I buy the tether already? I don't think I did. But that was the idea behind getting that tether. I was hoping I could at least mow and ted the hay with horses and then bale with the tractor was my initial idea, but I couldn't get it to, to work for me. So we go with what I know works. Tether and we need our baler. Baler. Balers. The one where the hitch falls in the ground. That's the only flaw with this baler is, oops, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> there, we got to have our 12 on it. There we go. But even though the hitch falls in the ground, you can still connect it, and it's not a major flaw. It's been a good baler. I like it. Okay, and the next thing we need, this is where, again, I'll have to cheat just a little bit. Um, what was that under? Was it under just regular trailers? No, it was under hay. No, it was trailers. But I have to skip ahead. I have to skip ahead temporarily one year. <laughs> I don't know why they made it 1951 before you could buy it. But I'm like, really? So I'm just going to skip ahead a year just to buy that trailer, and then I'll go back to 1950, I promise. There, it gives me what I need. Okay, I think it was under trailers. I could buy the, the John Deere hay wagon, but that's a little big for my needs at the moment. I did find a, a, a teeny tiny little hay trailer. There it is. I think this one's it. Yeah. Yeah, 1951. This makes a nice little hay trailer. Uh, you do have to be... I should give a little bit of a warning for this trailer. Uh, whenever you're collecting hay with it, before you start collecting hay, save your game. Because every once in a while, it, it glitches the game out. So be aware this trailer does have problems. Uh, I've... I, I kind of know how to make it work. Um, the trick is don't pick up a bale by hand and then let the trailer pick it up out of your hand because then it, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it, it does, it glitches out the game. As long as you're picking up hay off the ground with it, it's fine. But if you pick up the hay with your hands and go towards the trailer and let it pick it up, it's like the bale becomes, the bale is still there but it's not there, I guess is the best way I can explain it. You can see the bale, but the computer's not reading it as a as there's a bale there. And then when you try to do anything else in the game, the game just totally screws up and you can't save it. You can't do you Basically, you got, the game crashes after that. So when you go to pick up hay with this, just before you start to pick up hay, save your game in case it does glitch out. It's a really nice little trailer other other than that silly little glitch that I can't seem to get rid of. So, did I buy it already? I don't think I did. I gotta double check. I can't remember if I hit the buy button or not. I don't think I did. That should see... Uh, nope, I don't have any trailers. Okay, I just double check and I don't want to double buy stuff here. Yeah, other than it being a little glitchy, it's it's a pretty decent little trailer. Just something to get get things going here. Okay, bait trailer. I don't. I think that's all it is. Yeah. I mean, you could use it as a regular trailer too, but I need it for picking up bales. I don't want the license plates. Thank you. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Thank you. That's the only thing that seems to be slow and glitchy in my game is, is the buy menu. Okay, so we got the bike here. 
So what I think I'll do is I'll take the truck. Go get the tractor and the tether. And then take the bike back and get my truck. And then I can pick up the baler and the hay cutter with the truck. Oh, what is that about? Come on. So, anyway, you know where I'm headed. To town. Ooh, so exciting. Look at all this cool stuff. I just like it when starting out fresh and new. Alrighty, I think I'm going to bring the hay cutter home next. Okay, there's that. No teleporting over to my nice brand new shiny H. I've used this tractor before and it, it's a pretty handy little tractor. It doesn't break very well, but other than that, it's a pretty decent little tractor. Ooh, can I get away with this? I think I can. Yes, I can. Alright, this is going to be a fairly long drive home, so... I'll see you when I get all the equipment back home. Ooh, I almost did a boo-boo. I forgot to set this back to 1950. Woohoo, that could have been bad. Okay, back on track. I'm sure I'll forget something, but... Yeah, that would be bad. Come on, get her into road gear here. That was the only... There was only a couple things I didn't like about the Farm LH. One was... Uh, the Farm LH had a 5-speed transmission. 4th gear was always too slow, and 5th gear was too fast to do anything. <laughs> it, needed a, it needed another gear. Oh, and another thing I didn't like about the H was no live power. That kind of sucked. It would have been nice if it at least had... Uh, Live hydraulics and live PTO, that would have been kind of nice, but eh, that's the way most of them older tractors were. You just had to push in the clutch every time you wanted to do something. Other than that, the H was a pretty good tractor. Let's see, I think we can just kind of park things kind of back in the brush here for now, temporarily, until I get my shed put up. Does this uh, boggle anybody else's mind? I mean, I remember driving this tractor in my teens and in my 20s, and if you would have told me in my when I was a kid driving this tractor that I would be driving this exact model tractor in a video game. It just kind of, it just, I don't have words for it. It just kind of messes with my head. It's like, if you would have told me I could play a video game driving the tractor that I drove in real life, it just, <laughs> it's just kind of cool, you know. It's, it's little moments like that that just like, eh, makes life good. All right, now we got to ride this back to town. Oops. There's no engine to start. It's a bicycle. What a silly game. <laughs> Wee. Good exercise. Maybe that'll get rid of my beer gut. Alright, oh, I forgot to turn the engine off. <laughs> uh, too funny. There, now we put the bike in the truck. Get in there. Alright. Now get in the truck, not the bike. Okay. Get some grass cut. Make some hay! Eventually, I do want to own this field and the two uh, back fields, but money's a little tight right now. we got to wait until we make some money. But yeah, I'd like to own these two fields back here, too, eventually. Kind of silly I own this part, but not this little back part. But 
Well, we will get there. We will make this all our own. Alright, I might as well run back and get the baler and the trailer while I'm at it quick. Let's see, I don't need to take the bike back with me. Make sure we keep that by the house for when I need it. There we go. Okay, I just thought of something. Uh, save my another trip back to town. Um, I do not have a wheat field or oats field or barley field for straw for the barn and I am going to build the barn right away in this episode. So what I want to do I definitely want to save just in case that silly trailer glitches out on me when I go to pick up the straw bales. As long as I don't touch them with my hands it seems to work okay. But I still save it just in case. Oh and I also downloaded another mod I can buy little square bales now. What do you think of that? <laughs> so I ain't got to worry about loaders and big heavy bales. This trailer holds 35 and it's going to be a while before I get straw, be able to harvest straw myself. So I am going to get the full 35 bales. So we need 16, 32, Three, four, five. There. That should give me a full load of straw to bring back home. Okay. Let's see, I need this menu so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, this is an auto load trailer. It works really good. Like I said, I, I just I like to keep repeating that warning. Anybody that downloads this trailer mod, you want to be a little careful with it because it can be glitchy. All right. Let's do enable. Okay. This is the part where my sister gets all upset. Why are them bales loading themselves? You should be picking them up by hand. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to torture myself that much. <laughs> Actually, when I started experimenting this game, I, 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 I did do that a little bit, and I'm like, nah, come on. Getting a little too, a little too much realism there. You'll know when this trailer glitches out, because you see how the straps are covering these bales real nice. If you get a glitched out bale, then all of a sudden the strap is on the next bale down or whatever bales it wants to glitch out on. If it does it, I'll try to record it and I'll explain what it's doing. But basically you, you do have to, uh, like I say, even when you try to quit the game, the game won't even quit. You have to go into task manager and manually quit the game and whatever progress you made up to that point you're gonna lose so save the game and then go back and try again whatever you do don't save the game with the glitch because then you'll have to then you'll have a real problem well not it's not an unfixable problem but then you got to go back into your uh, backup saves and copy and paste the backup save into your main save so yeah you could, do got to be a little bit careful with these some of these mods sometimes on Unfortunately, which is too bad because I love this little trailer. But as long as you're kind of careful and watch what you're doing with it and save just before you use it. And don't save until you're done with it. <laughs> Make sure you don't save it if it is glitching out. It seems to be working okay. Okay, I think I'll unload these bales temporarily out in this field here. So I can get my hay bales cut. Once I get this field cleared off here, I can build my barn and... Okay, let's see if I do this right. I want to unstrap. Shift I. Okay. It, yeah. Every once in a while you hit Shift I and then all of a sudden there's like a bale stuck on there yet and it won't come off. 
so that that's where it gets a little scary so it, it's working now <laughs> so I think I think we'll be okay all right I do believe we have everything we need to make our first bunch of hay hopefully buy some cows here pretty quick just kind of park this over here but a spot as any all right H let's go to work let's cut some hay come on Gotta let it warm up a little bit first. You know, you know them old tractors. Um, also, this is one of the maps where you really don't have like wild grass for some odd reason. How do I explain this? Um, the first time you cut wild grass, you don't get anything out of it. I'll show you like here. If you cut, nothing happens. But once you cut it, it does turn into wild grass. I found that out. I was cutting this. I'm like, what the heck's going on here? Why am I not getting any hay? Well, the first time you do it, you don't get anything. But once you do it, it will. you will get wild grass. And you can cut this here. Luckily, this, is, this gives me hay, thank God. So, hopefully it'll be enough. To get us started. Looking sharp, looking sharp. Grass is all cut, looking good. It's amazing what a little mowing will do. Now, here's another little tip. What do we do with these little annoying pine trees? The mower doesn't cut them. And the chainsaw doesn't come but cut them. What the heck? Well, I figured that one out too. You just go into landscaping. And you go under painting. And you can either pick grass or forest ground. And you just get, well, not, not that close. And you get right on them and just go, boop, gone. Ah, that was gravel, actually. There we go. Any other little annoying pine trees around here? That's how, that's how you take care of them, little guys. Let's see. Let's get back on the tractor. Let's get some hay fluffed. We're on a roll here, boys. We're on a roll. Rocking and rolling. Oops. Did I not fold that up? Fold up. Just temporary until I get the garage put up. I know the the last series I had an Alice, uh, that little Alice Chalmers WD-45. But, 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 there's a problem. The Alice Chalmers WD-45 was not available until 1953. So, we can't get that in for, for another three years yet. That's okay, this H is doing a wonderful job. Well, it's not a lot of hay, but less hay I gotta buy. And unfortunately, I uh, when I first did a trial run on this, I kind of have no choice. I do have to buy a little bit of hay just to get going here. And as usual, the hitch is falling in the ground again. But it's never gave me any major trouble, other than a little pop of wheelie. Let's see, unfold. Let's make some hay, boys. Ah! Okay, that's way too loud. I keep forgetting to turn that down. I am very sorry for busting anybody's eardrums. Ok, 
Okay. That looks like it strapped down okay. And yes, I did save my game before I started using this trailer. I don't mean to sound like a broken record, but I don't want somebody using this mod and then having their game crash and getting mad at me. So, yeah, use this trailer with, with caution. It does have issues. So far, it's been behaving itself for me so far. But just be aware that it does have issues. And who knows, maybe it won't have issues at all with you. Maybe it's just conflicting with another one of my mods or something. Okay, let us build a barn. We got hay, we got straw, and I found a no really another cool little barn. Um, that Darysville barn, yes, I, I love that barn. It is my favorite barn. But for 1950s, I wanted something a little more vintage, a little more older, so I did download, uh, I think it's just called Old Buildings Pack. It gives you a cute little barn. only holds 20 cows. That's okay, we're starting small. It's only 1950. And along with that pack, you, you get some other buildings with it. Uh, I can't say exactly what they are off the top of my head, but you get a small garage, barn, uh, a small silo. Uh, there's like five or six different buildings that come with it. Let's see, I think last time I did this, I... Because it does have a drive through I think I put it somewhere about in here. So it kind of lines up. And I also press V so it doesn't mess the ground up around around here. I'm thinking right about there. Okay. Now, along with that, we need a... What is that under? Silos, I believe. Yep, that's what I want. A manure heap. And I think I put it right along in here, I think. There we go. And I don't need it right away, but I think I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put it up anyway. Was that under silos? I think it was. It was around five thousand dollars or six thousand dollars. Yeah, there it is. Uh, bale and pallet storage. This is where I can place my extra bales. Let's see. We don't want to get too close because uh, the trigger to get the bales out of it is on the on the right hand side there. So you do need a little space to walk in there to activate the trigger. But I also want it close enough where I can just grab the bales and just throw them in the barn. And this is as close as I could get with it. Let's see, let's get it so it lines up with the fence here. I think that would look pretty nice. I do believe that's the spot I want it. There. Okay, we got hay storage, we got poop, and I think... No, oh, no, there's a couple more things I want to add to this. Um, let's see, let's get in here. There is... Let's see if we can open the barn up right away. Okay, this is where the hay and straw goes. I know it looks like there's cows in there, but there really isn't. Because we didn't buy them yet. And there is a, like, a garage area here. But unfortunately, they didn't put a repair trigger or, any, or anything in here. But this just looked like an ideal spot to put a garage. So I figured out a workaround for that. Was it, I think it was under tools. It's for a thousand. Yeah, this is a vehicle workshop. And you can buy fuel with this one too. So what I did, I gotta make sure it's straight with the building. I think it is. Yes, it is. Again, we'll have to push V. And what I did is I just kind of stuck it in here. I let it stick out a little bit so you can drive a tractor like up next to these doors. I think I put it somewhere right about in there. Let's see how that looks. See if I screwed it up or not. Oh, I got it perfect. The gas cans and everything. Yes, it's perfect. Okay. And then to wash the vehicle, well, I could have I been a little more to the right maybe. That's okay, it'll still work. 
And then I had, I think that was also under tools, I have a water hose for washing things off and getting water. Yeah, that was a little close. Let's see. That zoom in mod works kind of nice, but sometimes it gets a little too close. It's like it doesn't have anything in between. I don't want it on top of the building. Thank you very much. I just want to see if I can get it to line up here. I think that's about where I want it. Yeah. I want it right up next to the building. I think I got it. Let's see, can I use it? Yep. Perfect. Yes. Well, I probably should have been in a little bit. I'm half tempted to do that again. <laughs> well, does it cost me money to remove it? Some things do and some things don't. Yeah, I'm going to lose a little money on that. It's it's not the worst. I, I think I'll live with it. So what if it sticks out a little bit? Yeah. Okay, I think I have everything set. Let me do a quick little run around here, make sure nothing's too out of place here. I can still walk through here if I need to. Well, no, maybe not. Yes, I can. And this is the trigger for the bale storage. Yep. Uh, I should make a little drive through here. I'll do that later, off camera. Okay, let's get the hay in the barn, but before I do that, I think I'm going to do another save. Just to make dang sure that trailer doesn't do something stupid. It, it, it can sometimes glitch out when I'm unloading it in the barn. It does fit in the barn. Like I say, it's these, I'm still kind of getting things figured out and getting bugs worked out. But you do have to be a little bit careful. The trick is not to touch the bales. Just let them kind of slowly unload in there and bond them by themselves. Okay, let's get in here about here. Okay, are you unloading? Okay, I unloaded some of them, but not all. Why? Sometimes you just kind of drive back and forth and it yeah, still ain't getting them all. Come on! I'm scared to touch them. It seems like as soon as you touch them bales, that's when glitches happen. As long as the stupid trailer doesn't try to auto load while I'm throwing them in here. Uh oh. Did that just auto load onto the trailer? God, I hope it didn't. Okay, I don't think it did. You know when it does because the bale will be there and you try to grab it and it won't let you grab it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Alright. Now let's get the straw in here. I say it, it, it works. But it can be a little finicky. You just have to be a little careful with it. Easy. Okay, let's see. This should fully auto load. Okay, good. Okay, I think we're okay. I don't think all the straw fits in here. I right, just gotta be careful. Okay, I think the barn might be full already. Let me check. 
Oh, I can't check until the until I get the cows bought. Okay, let's get some cows here. Alright, here's the mistake I think I made last time. To save money, I used to buy heifer calves, but that takes like two and a half, almost three years to get any milk out of them. So this time, I'm just going to buy some milking cows right away. First thing we want is a full-size bull, so they get bread right away. And we're not going to get too carried away. I think I'm just going to get like five cows. That's enough to get a, a paycheck. Okay. Okay, I think we're set there. I see cows. I hear mooing. And is the straw thing full? I believe it is. Yep, straw is full and hay is about half full. 8,000 per day, and we got 16,000, and we got to get by until October, August, September. October. We might not have to buy hay. It's going to be close. Yeah, because it says daily food, 8,300. We might be able to squeeze by. Maybe. Barely. Now, can I auto load this without it glitching out on me? No, because it still wants to unload. Okay. Let's drive this out of here. I think if I go straight to the hay thing, it should take them off, I hope, without any problems. Yes. Okay, now we just gotta go pick up... How many is left? Maybe I can just throw them over there by hand. Let's get this trailer out of the way. I don't want this to... don't want any chance to take any chances here, that glitching out on me. Yeah, I think I, I think there's only like three or four bales left here. I can just throw them over there. Whee! Oh boy, that was a weak throw. Come on. There we go. I hear ya. Let's see. Well, I can leave one sit in here, I suppose, that it should automatically disappear after a bit. Okay, I think, I think, I think... Oh, no, I forgot to put a building up. We can put our shed up while we're at it. We don't want that stuff sitting outside. The shed is cheap. I think it was 1500 There we go. Ah, what is going on here? Wooey. Okay, let's get this lined up with the road here. Oops, it was lined up. There we go, and I think I put it right around in here. Just look like a nice spot. I think I want to V it, just so don't mess up my ground. Just kind of put it in the middle. Do I want to be that far back though? Let's come forward a little bit. There we are. Perfect. Yes, now I gotta place the store stuff. Alright, let me wash my equipment up and tuck it away. And ooh, we got to buy some stuff. Well, let me buy that before I forget. We need a manure spreader and a slurry spreader. Um, well, we don't need it until October, but I might as well get it now so I have it. Uh, where is this stuff? Come on, where are you, auger wagons? Sometimes I look too fast and I don't see it. There's a manure spreader. I know that one's a little bit tre cheaper, but this one just looks more realistic to me. Okay, let's get that purchased. And we'll get that smallest little slurry tanker. There we go. 
Yeah, because we got pretty small fields, so this should do for now, just to get by. Alrighty, let me do some work off camera. I'll be back with you in a bit. Let's see, yeah, this trigger seems to be working good. Refuel. Yep, I can refuel. Can I repair? Yes, I can. It's working beautiful. Uh, didn't put enough mileage on the baler for that to repair yet, but that's okay. That'll save me some money, and then over here I should be able to hit this and... Uh, come on. Wash things up. Although this ain't too dirty yet, but I'll wash it anyway. Why not? How's this doing? Uh, it's pretty clean yet, too. Oh, it's got a little bit of dirt here. Okay, that all works perfect. No problems there. Well, what do you think of this layout so far? I kind of like it. Hmm, I wonder if I should... Nah, I'll leave it like that. I, I wanted it to go through here, but where the... Ah, where this trigger is, it won't let me... It won't let me do that, so I just kind of went like that. Eh, I might add something later, so I kind of left this. And then I added a little more here, because... I've been driving through here anyway. So, yeah, we got the barn, the hay shed, and the machine shed so far. And all three of these buildings are part of that old buildings pack. They all kind of match. There's also a house with that buildings pack, but I, I just love my little cabin so much better. So, I'm using my little cabin. It looks like a pretty slick little layout for a small little 1950s farm. Oh, I also had a, like a little mud trail here for the manure. I think this is all coming along pretty good here. I love it so far. It looks pretty sharp. And then we've got the repair shop here. A little wash spigot there. The moo moo cows hiding in here. Milk cans. It just, it just fits the 1950s so nice. I went to town. I picked up the new manure spreader and the slurry tanker. We got the everything washed up and repaired and put away for the month. Yeah, it's it's all coming along good. The house. I, I I like how this is going so far. Place to put our hay and bales. Straw bales. Like I say, you just go here and the hay bales spawn in this area. And you just grab and throw it in the barn there. I think we're all set. Well, okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do today, so I think I can skip ahead a couple months until October, and I'll get whatever grass I can off of this, and hopefully that's enough to make it through the winter. It should be, I mean, it's a pretty good size hay field, and I only got five cows, so yeah, let's, let's do that, I'll see you in October. Yep, that's the situation I ran into last time. Um, yeah, we're not going to make it quite one more month. I'm going to have to buy a little bit of hay to make it to October. I don't think I need a full load, though. Um, I wonder if I get, like, ten more bales I could slip by. I just need enough just to slip by. I hate to cut this early, because I don't think I'll get hardly anything off of it in September. I'd like to wait another month. Alrighty, let's go buy some bales. I need something. Okay, here's what I decided to do. I bought just 10 hay bales. And even the hay bales, it's not the worst, the $300 a bale. Just enough to slip by. And then I bought the rest straw, because... I'm going to have to buy straw for a little while until I get that other little hay field where I can plant some uh, oats or wheat or something to make straw with. So I think this will be alright to get us by. I only got to get by for a month and then I think I, I think I can make it through the winter. We'll see. Let's see, I figured I'd show you real quick how this works. 
Um, when you do, don't do 10 at a time because it stacks it way too high. Only do like 5 at a time because otherwise it'll stack it way the heck up there and it tips over and it makes a mess. So I find just doing it 5 at a time seems to work best. And then you just go wink and yoink. That seems to work pretty good. Yoink. Hopefully that's enough to get them by for one more month. And hopefully that hopefully that field is big enough to get me through the winter. It should be. If, if it ain't, it'll be it'll be close. But I think it will. I gotta make it till April. Oh yeah, I think I'll make it. it says daily food about ten thousand. I got fifteen thousand in there. Oh, and we're making milk right away. That's because I bought cows. That that was a a good idea because now I'm making a. At least I got a paycheck <laughs> right away. Well, let's see if we can make her into October. Oh, that's a pretty good milk check for. Holy crap! I only got five cows. Wow, sold milk, $4,000. My first check was only 500 and I thought, oh boy, that ain't very much. And then, bam, that's a pretty nice little milk check for only having five cows. By golly, I think we're going to survive. We're doing good. Oh, I forgot to check their food. Did we make it? Yes, we did. Okay, that's beautiful. And most of them, only one didn't get bred back. Okay. So we're doing all right there too. And we should be able to make some hay. Well, you've already seen me make hay, so I'm gonna do this whole big field off camera. So let's get some hay made here. Should be all set and ready to go here. Ooh-wee, that made some bales. I cut every little piece of grass I could find on the property. We definitely got some hay. Yep, I think, let's see, let's get a, out here where we can get a good look at it. Yeah, I would say with only five cows, I think we have more than enough hay, don't you? <laughs> this field is bigger than it looks. <laughs> I figured that's. I figured you guys wouldn't mind me doing most of that work off camera, going around, around, around circles. Well, let's get them picked up and in the barn and the in the hay storage, and we'll see how many bales we got. Hmm, 153 bales. That should be enough to get us through the winter, I would think. Should be plenty. Yeah, that's a nice little stack of hay. Okay, next on the list, I think we need to get some poop. We need to get some poop on my grass field here. I don't think it needs plowing or anything uh, like, like anything else like that. Yeah, looks like it just needs one layer of fertilizer and that should be good. All right, let's get some poop on the field. I think I want to empty the slurry tank first because that doesn't hold as much as the manure one. So I think I want this one emptied first. How much slurry do we have anyway? Uh, let's see, you should tell me here, slurry. Oh, only 11,000, not a lot, but eh, we'll get rid of it anyway. Between the slurry and the poop, eh, I might have an I don't know if I have enough to cover it all or not, but we'll cover as much of it as we can. Let's see, I'll get the main field first, and then I'll worry about the little fields off to the side. Let's see, single layer. Alright, let's hit it. That slurry actually covered more than I expected. I only had 10,000 liters, but I'd say it got pretty close to half the field. 
Now we switch from the sloppy poop to the hard poop. I think we might be able to get cover most of this. See, this has got quite a bit wider spread, so ooh, a little, a little shaky on the steering there. It's okay; it's still handling it though. Oh, geez, we got a much wider spread. Come on, get it spread out. There we go. Not too wide though; don't want to miss any. Well, I managed to get it all covered with a little bit to spare, even. I think I parked this behind the shed here. This don't need to be in. Manure spreader doesn't have to be under a roof. It can sit outside. That looks like a nice place to park that. Well, now that I got that all taken care of, I think I done as much as I could in this month. I guess I'll... Uh, wash everything up, repair everything, put things away, and let's see if we can make it through our first winter. There, barn is closed up, machinery washed, maintained, and put away. I guess we sleep through the winter. There's not much else we can do other than come out and check on the cows every now and then. And All right, let's get some sleep. We hibernate. Holy crap is this map dark. I mean, it's 9 a.m. already. <laughs> this must be further north than I... Ooh, it's starting to snow. Well, it is December. I'm just surprised at how short the daylight is in the winter here. Jesus, 10 o'clock and it still ain't light out. Man, oh man, talk about short days. How's Mumu's doing? We're doing very well. I might even have a little extra hay to sell. I was just checking on prices for that too a little bit ago. Yeah, January, February. Uh, I might be able to sneak a load of hay in because I'll have hay available in April already. So, yeah. Trade a load of hay in for maybe another load of straw. Because it's going to be at least August until I can get some straw. So... Yeah. Other than that, just been sleeping off most of the winter, coming here and feeding the cows when I need to. I do wish I could have got this hay barn a little bit closer, and then I wouldn't have to walk. It'd be nice if I could just grab and throw. But this ain't too bad. Well, I think hay prices have peaked at 63. It's not going to get any higher than that. And I think I can afford to take one load of hay in, which is fine because i got to go in and get a load of straw anyway. So I guess it all depends if this old girl can drive through this heavy pack snow here. How much trouble that's going to be. I know some maps the snow can get pretty deep. Let's see how this handles it here. I think we can drive through it. It's not too deep. Alrighty, I think I can do it. So, I will be back. Ooh, don't hit my bike. Jeez. It's a little slippery, but at least I can drive through it. I know there's some maps I play on. It's like the snow gets so deep you cannot drive through it at all. Unless you plow it. I was a little bit worried about that, but... I think it would be alright. Now, let's see. I want to make sure that I don't mess this 
trailer thing up again. It did it once, I forgot to record it, but my trailer did goof up and I had to reset the game. So this trailer, I think I might be getting that hay wagon sooner than I think because I just hate risking crashing my game with this trailer. Which really sucks because I love this little trailer. Okay, I think, okay, before we do anything I'm going to save. So if it does crash, I can get back to it. So far it seems to be behaving itself. Yep, loading up nice. Let's see, one more time. Five. That should be, let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Oop, what, what? Okay. Learn how to count. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Nope, should be able to get one more row on there. There we go. Now if I immediately get in the truck... Okay, I think we're set. Let's take a load of bales into town. Come back with a load of straw. And go from there. Oh yeah, she's driving through the snow a little funny, but I think we can make it to town, okay. Wasn't exactly an even trade, but uh, I made like fifteen hundred, almost fifteen hundred dollars on the load of hay, and then it cost me—I don't know what it cost for the straw, but it cost a little more than fifteen hundred. That's okay. They at least plowed the parking lot, but yeah, none of these roads are plowed. Pretty much just like Wisconsin. <laughs> I love how the trees are holding snow, and isn't this beautiful? I'm, I'm liking this map more and more. The more I play it, the more I like it. Sure is a beautiful map. I'm struggling to get through the snow a little bit, but it ain't bad. I am getting through it. This old rust bucket, I'm sure, doesn't have four-wheel drive, but it's it's getting the job done. I was a little bit worried that I wasn't going to be able to do it, and I thought, well, if I can't do it, I'll just wait until spring and I'll take a loss, but I'm doing it. There is another snowstorm in the forecast, so maybe February will be the month that's too deep to travel. Okay. Let's get into the new year. And you're saying, what do you mean new year? It's January, February already. What happened to the new year? Well, this mod is a little weird. Um, for some reason, New Year's is March. I don't know why. Let's see, we, I think we can get up a little earlier. Well, nah, let's wait until May to get up early. We can sleep in late yet. And let's get in to 1951. And that is where we're going to end this episode. Uh, that's what I wanted to do last time. I just It just didn't happen, but this time I'm going to make it happen. Every episode is going to be one year. So we end the episode every March will be the new year. So here we go. 1951 happy new year and that's where i'm gonna end it so i hope you enjoyed it i'm sure this episode is a little longer than what i want it to be but you know it's it's hard getting started out so hopefully the next episodes will be a little shorter but anyway i hope you enjoyed this episode we got a lot done a lot done we got a beautiful little farm going on here how much snow we got Ooh, looks like we might got a little more, little more snow I'm just curious. Can I drive through it? <laughs> I just want to know how much snow we actually get in this map. If it gets to the point where I can't drive through it. Uh, no, I can still drive through it. Of course, that can change maybe year to year. But it's just good knowing these things. Because I need to know if i got to get a snowplow or not. <laughs> so far, I can drive through it. Okay, that's all I need to know. All right, I think this episode's been long enough. We better end it. All right, we go feed my cows. Well, until next time. Hey, why is there a bale of straw left in here? Sometimes the trigger doesn't see it. There we go. Until next time. Let's see, how's the cows doing? They should be perfectly healthy. Yes, they are. And we got some more baby cows coming here in see one yeah four months. Sometime this summer we should have some more cows. Alright, enough babbling. 
We'll see you next time. This is the end of episode one. Bye for now.